Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you on completing the Dragon Nest Novice Beginner's Guide in Dragon Nest C. In addition, I will give important tips along the way, so make sure to watch the whole video. Important note before we start, before you can do the Dragon Nest Novice Guide, you'll have to finish the Dragon Nest Newbie Guide before you can move on to clearing the Dragon Nest Novice Guide. The first task is to enhance a Minos Helmet. When you clear the Dragon Nest Newbie Graduation task, you will get a free Minos Helm and Minos Enhancement Material Pouch. To enhance the Minnow's Helm, you'll need two materials, Minnow's Librium and Flame of Minnow's. Open the Minnow's Enhancement Material Pouch, and after that, open the Jelly Pouch. You'll get enough Minnow's Librium and a Flame of Minnow's to enhance the Minnow's Helm once. Now that we have Minnow's Helm and the Enhancement Materials, let's enhance it. Talk to a Blacksmith NPC, her? then select Enhance Item, right-click on the Minnow's Helm, and press Enhance. Given. Pay up, that is. <laughs> Important note, you can also get Minos Helm through the Trading House, and you'll get the Minos Librium and Flame of Minos by doing the Fission Maze at Labyrinth 15 or above difficulty. Once you are done enhancing the Minos Helm, get the rewards in the mail, then open and equip the Conversion Helmet costume. The next task is to clear the stage round 1. Clear flooded downstream ruins at Labyrinth 1 or above difficulty. Go to St. Haven South Gate, go to the portal, and go to Hermalti Port. Flooded downstream ruins is located here. But as you can see, the only difficulty available for me is normal, so I will need to clear the normal, hard, master and abyss difficulty to unlock the labyrinth 1 difficulty. After clearing the stage, go back to town and get the rewards in the mail, then open and equip the conversion lower body costume and the minnow's armor upper body armor. Let's return to Hermalt Port and clear the stage rounds from 2 to 4. The next task is to clear the river ruins at Labyrinth 1 or above difficulty. After clearing the river ruins, the next one is to clear the sunken cargo vessel at Labyrinth 2 or above difficulty. Once you've cleared Sunken Cargo Vessel, the next stage to clear is the Forsaken Islet at Labyrinth 2 or above difficulty. Now that we're done with stage round 2 to 4, let's go back to town and get the rewards. Open the mail, then check all mail and press the receive all button. Open all of the conversion armor pouches and Minnow's armor box, then equip them all. After equipping all conversion armor costumes, check and find your inventory for contaminated tetra stone fragments. We will need this to clear the next task, purchase a vibrant heraldry from a priestess of darkness NPC in Saint Haven. 
You will find all of the Priestess of Darkness NPC in this location in Saint Haven. Go and talk to any Priestess of Darkness there, and select the Stage Shop. You'll only need to buy one Vibrant Talisman Pouch to complete the task, but I will buy multiple Vibrant Talisman Pouches for a chance to get a Magic Grade Vibrant Heraldry. Now, open your mailbox and get the rewards in the mail. Before moving on to the next task, I will open all of my Vibrant Heraldry pouches, to get a Magic Grade Vibrant Heraldry. Now, the next task is to equip a Heraldry. Just right-click a Heraldry to equip it. Once you're done with the task, get the Hockule Enhancement Heraldry Flowering Stamp reward in the mail. The next task is to evolve a Magic Grade Vibrant Heraldry, into Rare Grade Heraldry using a Hockule Enhancement Heraldry Flowering Stamp. First right-click on the Hockule Stamp, and right-click the Magic Grade Vibrant Heraldry, then press the Change button to evolve it. Get the rewards in the mail and open the Frontal Breakthrough and Vigor Heraldry Pouch. First, open the 3 Frontal Breakthrough Pouch, then open the Vigor Heraldry Pouch. The difference between a Vigor Heraldry and a Frontal Breakthrough is that Vigor Heraldry has a guaranteed max attribute attack power of 20% without additional stats. In contrast, Frontal Breakthrough Heraldry attribute attack power is random, from 1% to 20%, but with additional random stats like this. In my case, I will choose one Heraldry with the best attribute attack and additional stats, between the three Frontal Breakthrough that I got. For the next tasks, go to St. Haven South Gate, and go to the portal, then go to Riverwort Wharf. After arriving at Riverwort Wharf, I will clear stage rounds 5 to 8. To clear stage round 5, you'll have to clear Tell Rosa City at Labyrinth 3 or above difficulty. After clearing Tell Rosa City, the next stage to clear is stage round 6, which is to clear the Shadow of Evil Spirits at Labyrinth 3 or above difficulty. Once you've cleared Shadow of Evil Spirits, the next stage to clear is Stage Round 7, which is to clear the Ancient Library at Labyrinth 4 or above difficulty. Finally, after you've cleared Ancient Library, the next stage to clear is Stage Round 8, which is to clear the East Ancient Library at Labyrinth 4 or above difficulty. When you are done clearing Stage Round 5 to 8, let's go back to town and claim the rewards. Open your mail, and check all mail to receive all Conversion Accessories Pouch, and Dragon Nest Novice Accessories. Equip all Dragon Nest Novice Accessories. Then after that, open all Conversion Accessories Pouch, then equip them all. The next task is to get Labria Ultimate Heraldry. The Labria Ultimate Heraldry store is located in this location in St. Haven. Go and talk to Space Information Collector Galsperia H3. Select Labria store and buy the Labria Ultimate Heraldry. To upgrade the Labria Ultimate Heraldry, you'll have to buy 10 Update Package Version 1, 10 Update Package Version 2, and 5 Update Package Version 3. To use the update package, right-click on the item and right-click on the Labria Ultimate Heraldry, and press the change button to upgrade it. Important note. Make sure to start with update package version 1 before you can use the version 2 and 3 update package. To clear the next tasks, go to St. Haven Westgate Portal, then go to Foothills of Black Mountain. After arriving at the Foothills of Black Mountain, I'm going to clear Stage Rounds 9 to 13. To clear Stage Round 9, you'll have to clear Dark Mine at Labyrinth 5 or above difficulty. 
After you've cleared Dark Mine, the next task is to clear Stage Round 10, which is to clear Nameless Tyrant Tomb at Labyrinth 5 or above difficulty. Once you've cleared Nameless Tyrant Tomb, the next task is to clear Stage Round 11, which is to clear Abandoned Welton Hollow at Labyrinth 5 or above difficulty. After clearing Abandoned Welton Hollow, the next task is to clear Stage Round 12, which is to clear Withered Forest at Labyrinth 6 or above difficulty. And finally, after you've cleared Withered Forest, the next task is to clear Stage Round 13, which is to clear Dark Overlord Keep at Labyrinth 6 or above difficulty. When you are done clearing Stage Round 9 to 13, let's go back to town and claim the rewards. Open your mail, and check all mail to receive all rare grade vibrant heraldry with 100,000 attack stats, and the Cerberus Fellowship Pouch. Before equipping the heraldries, talk to BST Point Shop NPC and buy the heraldry expand slot item. To use the item, go to Cash Inventory and right-click the item to use the heraldry expand slot item. You can now equip all heraldries on your heraldry slots. Before we move on to the next task, find the Cerberus Fellowship Pouch, and open it to receive the Cerberus Nest Entry Ticket, and the special key to open the chest reward to get a full set of incomplete Lunar Jades. Now that we have the Entry Ticket for Cerberus Nest, the next task is to clear the Cerberus Nest. To clear Cerberus Nest fast, you have to create a party. Press O, go to the Party tab. Then press Create a Party, and name your party like this, Cerberus Nest with Ticket Need Any, and create the party. Cerberus Nest is located in the foothills of Black Mountain, so you'll need to go to St. Haven West Gate and enter the portal, then go to Foothills of Black Mountain. After arriving at Foothills of Black Mountain, the Cerberus Nest Entry Portal is located here. After you clear Cerberus Nest, if you hold the special key, you'll be able to open the special reward chest that contains willpower of fragment, 100 pieces of lapis, 3000 crystal points, and an incomplete lunar eclipse dragon jade pouch. Once you've done clearing the Cerberus nest, open your mail and receive the rewards. Before moving on to the next task, open your inventory, then open the incomplete lunar eclipse dragon jade pouch. Important note. Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jade has different Dragon Jade for each body part type. For example, Lunar Jade with a helmet icon can only be equipped on a helmet. For the next task, you'll have to equip any jade in an item. Just right-click on the jade, right-click on the item and then press the OK button to equip it. After that, open your mail and receive the rewards. Now, the next task is to clear the Deep Abyss of Nightmare. Deep Abyss of Nightmare is located inside the Silver Dragon Force Field. You will find the Silver Dragon Force Field in this location in St. Haven. Go to the Silver Dragon Force Field portal and enter. I will do Deep Abyss of Nightmare solo, and clear it in easy mode to clear it fast. 
After clearing Deep Abyss of Nightmare, open your mailbox, and you'll receive the required materials to craft one unidentified vibrant talisman, which are three nightmare fragments and one maze fragment. The next task now is to craft one unidentified vibrant talisman. Go and talk to a blacksmith NPC then select craft item, and click on the rune, dragon jade, and talisman crafting tab, then select the vibrant talisman crafting page. Then craft one unidentified talisman. Now, open your mailbox and receive the 10 unidentified vibrant talisman and 30 ounce sweet wine. Before we move to the next task, I will open all of the unidentified vibrant talismans in my inventory. Now, the next task is to re-roll a vibrant talisman using Ound Sweet Wine. Right-click the Ound Sweet Wine, and right-click on the vibrant talisman, then press the change button to re-roll the stage of the vibrant talisman. After you've cleared the task, open your mail, and get Sap of Life. The next task now is to evolve Magic Vibrant Talisman to Rare Grade. First, you must reroll the Vibrant Talisman to Stage or Level 5 using Ound Sweet Wine. Once you've successfully rerolled the Vibrant Talisman to Stage 5, right-click the Sap of Life to use it, and right-click the Stage 5 Vibrant Talisman, then press the change button to evolve the vibrant talisman. After you've cleared the task, go to your mail, and receive an additional unidentified vibrant talisman. The next task now is to equip the vibrant talisman. Open your inventory, then right-click the vibrant talisman to equip it. After clearing the task, go to your mail and receive an additional Ound Sweet Wine. Now, as you can see, the remaining tasks are the Nest Round tasks 1 to 12. To clear the Nest Round 1 and 2, go to St. Haven South Gate Portal, then go to Hermalt Port. After arriving at Hermalt Port, the Nest Portal is located here. The nest you need to clear at Labyrinth 11 are Manticore Nest and Serpentra Nest. To clear the Nest Round 3, 4, and 5, Enter the St. Haven South Gate portal, then go to Riverwort Wharf. After arriving at Riverwort Wharf, the nest portal is located here. The nests you need to clear at Labyrinth 11 are Professor K Nest, Archbishop Nest, and Gigante's Nest. To clear the nest round 6, 7, and 8, enter the St. Haven East Gate portal, then go to a new Arendelle. After arriving at a new Arendelle, the nest portal is located here. The nests you need to clear at Labyrinth 11 are Volcano Nest, Guardian Nest, and Mist Nest. To clear the nest round 9, talk to ticket agent Soreen in St. Haven and go to Calderock Village. We'll do our best to guarantee a safe flight. Typhoon Kim's nest is located at Grey Ruins. Go and enter the North Calderock portal, then go to Grey Ruins. After arriving at Grey Ruins, the nest portal is located here. The nest you need to clear at Labyrinth 11 is Typhoon Kim nest. To clear the nest round 10 and 11, Enter the Silver Dragon Forcefield Portal at St. Haven. Go and enter Mistland Portal, and go to Radams. After arriving at Radams, the Nest Portal is located here. The nest you need to clear at Labyrinth 11 or Granum Nest and Daedalo's Nest. To clear the nest round 12, from Radams, find the portal for Merka's Heart. Then go to Merka's Heart. After arriving at Merka's Heart, go to Merka's Port Portal and enter the portal. 
After arriving at Merka's port, the nest portal is located here. The nest you need to clear at Labyrinth 11 is Chiron Nest. After clearing all nest rounds, return to town and receive the rewards in your mailbox. Open your mail, then check all mail and click receive all reward button. Make sure to check each of the mailbox page to claim the unclaimed rewards in your mail. Now for the final and last task, you'll need to have 37 Dragon Nest Novice Dream tickets to buy the novice end of Dream Weapon Pouch. Go and talk to BST Point Shop NPC, then select Mission Bulletin Board Store. Go to Ticket Exchange, and purchase the Dragon Nest Novice End of Dream Weapon Pouch, using 37 Dragon Nest Novice Dream Tickets. Congratulations, you've now cleared the Dragon Nest Novice Beginner's Guide. That's all for this video, and I'll see you in the comment section below.